Um, essentially, your assistant for, for this is going to be um, acting in um, capacity just to hand you things, so you don't actually have to look away from the specimen or the, the patient as you're, as you're doing it. Um, and so I'm going to hand this uh, bougie and the tube to Aishi. Right, so um, essentially here is your specimen. The head, head end would be here. I should just, if you can see this, I'm not sure. got a little trick here. You can actually see the, the cores at this end. And at the bottom, there is a short, a short section of short section of trachea there as well, covered by a, a chamois. Okay, I show you ready. Yeah, I'm ready. So essentially, what we're going to do is first of all locate the uh, cricothyroid membrane, and here I can feel the, the thyroid uh, protuberance. So I'm going to work down, and I can feel the cricoid cartilage just below that, and then in between there's a little notch where the where the cricothyroid membrane is, and then stabilise skin. Of course, the patient's head's going to be here. At, um, in real life, um, so so perhaps we also just pra practice um, avoiding um, avoiding putting the hands here. So perhaps keep your hands up here to avoid the patient's head. Stabilise the skin. Uh, you're going to take your blade. I'm left-handed, um, so if you're right-handed, you can just reverse the whole process here. I'm actually going to go in. Down here as well. So just going through the. Membrane. Okay, so the scalpel blade is now through the cricothyroid membrane. I'm going to bring my non-dominant hand around the back of the patient's head and hold the blade uh, with that hand and using my dominant hand then using um, the curved nose forceps. Just work the way down, kind of hold on the blade. Your hand is hiding the yeah. action. Okay, kind of holding the blade with the forceps, slide them down the blade into the uh, trachea. At this point I'm going to take the blade out <coughs> and I'm going to be keeping my my eyes are uh, fixed now on, on the specimen, on the hole, uh, and I'm going to rotate the forceps down and then open the forceps to create the hole into the, through the crocothyroid membrane. Now Aishi here is going to pass me um, the bougie, yeah. so I don't have to then take my eyes off of what I'm doing. I'll just pop the bougie down through the hole here, direct it southwards. Okay. So always something in the hole. Yeah, and then as you can then thread the bougie going down. Bougie going down. Okay. And then hold the bougie. Yeah, got the bougie. And then we're going to thread our tube. The and the bougie can now come out, so I'm going to keep hold of the tube. So bougie out. And there we have surgical cracker thyroid or something. Ventilate through there. Nice big bite that side, mattress stitch, so I'll go the other way. Now I want a nice big loop here, so I'm going to go far from my entry point there, so I'm going to go all the way over here, again a nice big loop. And then I want these two to be about equal in length, and I pull that tight and I'll now rid myself of my sharp. So I've got that there. Just give them equal lengths. Now I do a surgical knot, nice and tight to the skin. Once I've secured that, I now pull that tightly around the tube in the same way as you would do with a chest strain at the level that you want it. And I really pull that tight. And then once I get there, I take the same curved forceps that I had before and I just pull that suture through there. So now it's anchored at two points to the skin. It's anchored by that knot and it's anchored by virtually pulling it through that loop. Then you split the two and you just do a nice tight surgical knot again there. Now try and pull that out. It's not going in and it's not coming out. And that's how I switch my chest strains in now as well.